You're now mummy and daddy cool. I haven't seen you, Aaron, since you've become a daddy. Are you both out of 10? How happy are we both at the moment? Oh, I'm, I'm good 10 out of 10. That's good to hear. Yeah, I mean... I'll, I'll see a nine because I'm in the hotel. I'll be 10 if I was at home, but nine at the minute. Yeah. What are you, what are you doing in a hotel room? I'm training. I'm training, training the way, so... Yeah, living hotel life Monday to Friday. Oh my goodness. I know, I think you're going to be better at boxing, you know. I uh, sort of are. Uh, hope Andy pays better. <laughs> Fighting. Hey, <laughs> that's exactly what I want to do. You mean? I swear, like, the, the MMO was just more like rolling around. I uh, rolling the room with people on the floor wasn't my, wasn't my, I just, I, I did a cup of tea. Nah. So now that we've got lockdowns eased a little bit, Aaron, you're back, you're back kind of boxing, fighting. What's going on with you? Because. I think last time you were just really frustrated that you couldn't do it as much. So this year is a complete write-off for the whole fighting. Um, I'm not going to be fighting this year, so I'm just I'm just staying in shape, staying ready, so I can get a date for hopefully the start of next. Well, maybe February, March, April next year. That, that's 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 the aim. Right. <laughs> And I bet you're excited about having your mates watching you again because I, I love the way that all the Geordies came to, to support you. It was so lovely. Well, this is the thing. I don't even know if they're going to be the, the, there's going to be crowds allowed. Um, but I just have to take it as it comes. If they're going to be there, then even better. If they're not, then it's going to be a weird one. But yeah, as long as I'm fighting, that's, that's exactly. all that really matters. So I say to say that since Geordie started, both your lives have changed. Did you think nine years ago that you might be in the positions that you're in now? Well, I, was still on the, I was still on. I was still on the pirates until six years ago. Oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> have a baby this time. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a bit less time for Aaron, but yeah, did you ever think that you'd be in this position where you, you, you know, your parents and you're back on Geordie OGs now? I mean, I guess no one could have predicted this. No, I mean, we, we did ask for this to happen for so long. We wanted this Johnny OG's type of show to happen. We don't know why they didn't do it sooner, if I'm honest. I mean, I could have left Johnny show a good year and a half, two years before I actually did. I was clinging on to it for some reason. Uh, but, easily. Yeah, easily. and I just think this is exactly what we needed. This suits us so much better. So if, if people don't know that haven't seen it, obviously, yet, what is it? How does it work? It just basically follows our lives, that's it. Just like like the Mummy Diaries or like First Time Mom. Like, it is very, I don't know if it was supposed to be family orientated, but it has turned out that way. But it, it kind of has to have turned out that way because all of us in like that are in it are really fam family orientated. Morning's got a child, I've got, I've got kids, Gaz had kids. Uh, Holly's in a, in a in a very steady relationship, going to get married. Do you know what I mean? So it couldn't be anything other than family, like around the family, because we've done all the crazy stuff on Jodie Show. Now it's time to just oh, there's the little one. Now it's time to just relax. I just think right that like it, it just it's, it is nice that it's like this because we're all living similar lives, and it just makes sense. It really does. I think it would be nice to have a little bit of like. I don't know. I think if someone else joined, I'd like it to be Nathan because I think he'd bring that, bring a bit of spice. Who would, you, who would you love to join in with it, Em? What? What? I, honestly, I'm going to have a f nervous break. <laughs> like, why is Casey even in the kitchen? Casey, please come and get him. But at least this is reality. This is what life's about right now. This is the last one. Hi, Casey. Hi, babe. <laughs> right. So, guys, tell me the best and worst thing about being a mum and dad. Tell me how you've enjoyed it and what the worst things have been. You've got Charlie Allen in there? Hello, baby. Hello, I feel like, I honestly feel like my head could be looking at This is reality. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> And what's nice is a lot of people have this, so it's nice to see that even reality stars and you lot experience the same thing, so it's all good. Yeah, um, like it's not perfect, it really isn't. It's, it is a struggle, like, isn't it though? Like having, when you're working, you've got babies, it's, 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 it is a lot, it's a lot, it's a challenge. The thing is, I think people think, like us reality people don't do anything but sit on and do Instagram posts and not the case. 
It's so, honestly, it's so far from the case. Like, like Aaron was saying, Aaron had some issues during lockdown. Like, I had some real bad issues. And just because we're not showing it all the time, people just think that we live a life of luxury. And we're just, people, I think people think that we'll have like 24 hour nannies and. Have you um, thought about getting maybe some childcare, both of you? I mean, ha- what happens next? Because the reality is they're going to get bigger and they've got to be entertained and you are career people as well. He's just started nursery. Um, he started one day a week. He went yesterday for the first time and he loved it. So that's the first bit of childcare. But did you have to fight Casey for that? Because he wasn't thinking yes, about I it. Did. First, he didn't want, to, want him to go and it's just... It's been a struggle, but he loved it. He absolutely loved it. He was playing, he was painting, he was singing. It's good for them. Yeah, and what about Romeo? How is he? It's funny how Moisha said that. Uh, Romeo went to like a, a little, like a, a nursery for about two hours. Loved uh, it. Other, was it last week? Just like, just so Talia could just, just have a little bit of time herself with me being away. And she said he absolutely loved it. So I think. You need to, you need to have time for yourself. So put them in nursery is is yeah. a normal thing to do. So if you and can I have think, a couple of hours to, and you know they're well looked after. Yeah, I think like some people like are a bit. I think some people judge it, and it's just like, but why? Like you, you to be a good parent, you you physically need that time to just work, catch up on stuff, run your errands. Do you know what I mean? And it's actually better for them because they get to do you know the messy play that they can't do at home. Yeah, to get to yeah, do that, yeah, yeah. paint and sing and go in the sand pit and go in the garden and plant flowers and they don't do that at home so it's a good thing that they're playing with other kids and you haven't got uh, to clean it up <laughs> yeah, yeah. 